In this video you're gonna learn exactly how to rank your site in Google, step by step. Now I should warn you, this is an advanced SEO tutorial, so if you don't even know what SEO stands for, this video is not for you. But if you wanna learn about advanced SEO strategies that get results, you're in the right place. In fact, I've used the techniques from this video to grow my organic traffic in record time. I'm gonna show you my step-by-step -step action plan for higher Google rankings, including lots of real-life case studies. Stay tuned. Techno music. We have a lot to cover in this video, so let's dive right in. I launched my first website way back in 2011. Needless to say, SEO was a lot different back then. Back in the day I'd spend hours looking for a domain name that contained my target keyword. Dog birthday cake recipes. Net is still available. I'm gonna be rich. Today tricking Google with exact match domains or phony backlinks simply doesn't work. So, what does the strategies I'm gonna share with you in this SEO tutorial? So without further ado, let's get started with step number one. First up, let's boost your site's loading speed. Google has publicly confirmed that they use your site's loading speed as a ranking factor. And from my own experiments I've discovered that site speed does impact rankings, but not in the way you probably think. Most people think that Google rewards you for having a fast loading website, but that's simply not true. My SEO experiments have revealed that Google doesn't reward fast loading websites. It penalizes slow loading websites. This makes sense if you think about it. Google's number one job is to give their users the best result for a given search. And everyone, and I mean everyone, hates slow loading websites. Loading the page. Techno music. Finally, it loaded. So if your site loads slower than molasses, yes, Google is gonna demote you. But once you hit a certain threshold of speed, you're on par with most other pages on the internet. So Google doesn't see any reason to rank you higher. Make sense? Good. Now it's time to actually improve your site's loading speed. First head over to Google PageSpeed Insights. Enter a page from your site here. Now as a pro tip, don't automatically put your home page into this field. Instead enter an internal page from your site that gets a lot of traffic, like a blog post or article. That way you'll get info on a page that lots of your visitors actually see. Next, hit Analyze, and Google will show you where your page's code could use a tune-up. Now Google's tool is helpful, but it has one big problem. It doesn't measure a site's actual loading speed. Seriously. Instead Google PageSpeed Insights simply analyzes your page's code to get a more accurate feel for how your site loads to real-life users. Check out gtmetrics.com. gtmetrics will show you data on how your page actually loads to real-life users, which is a much more accurate measurement of how your site speed stacks up. Next up, it's time to check on your technical SEO. Here's the deal. You can have the best site with the best content, but if your website has serious technical SEO issues, you're not going to rank. Fortunately, identifying and fixing these sort of issues can be super easy. Here's how to do it. Your first step is to log into your Google Search Console account. Pay special close attention to the crawl errors section. If you see any issues with DNS, server connectivity or robots, text, that's something you'll want to fix ASAP. But if they all show a green check mark, you'll all set. Next click on the crawl errors button. This will take you to the URL error section of the search. Console. It's perfectly okay to have a few server errors and 400 fours. But if you see hundreds of errors here, this is something that you'll want to fix ASAP. Moving right along we have our third. Step in this SEO tutorial, which is keyword research. Here are three quick techniques for finding awesome keywords. First up we have Google Suggest. 
To use it enter a keyword into Google, but don't. Press enter. Google will suggest long tail keywords that you can target. And when Google actually suggests a specific keyword to you, you know that it's a keyword that lots of people search for. You can also use the very helpful Uber Suggest tool to see hundreds of these suggest keywords in one place. Now sometimes the best keyword is a term that you already rank for. What do I mean? I'm talking about finding untapped keywords in the Google Search Console. Here's exactly how it's done. First, log into your Google Search Console account and click on Search Analytics. Sort the results by position. Then scroll down until you hit positions 11 through 15. These are keywords that you're already ranking for on the second page and with some extra on page and off page SEO. Help you can get them to the first page pretty darn quickly. I'll show you exactly how to do that later in this video. Our last keyword research technique is to use SEMrush. SEMrush is my favorite keyword research tool. Here's why. With most keyword research tools you pop a keyword into the tool and get a list of suggestions. But SEMrush is unique. Instead of entering a seed keyword into the tool, you enter a competitor's website and SEMrush shows you all the keywords that they already rank for. Next up we have content development. Back in the day Google would reward sites that published lots of unique quality content. That's why so many blogs started pumping out mediocre 400 word blog posts. But the truth is this. The whole publish lots of unique content approach simply doesn't work anymore. Today Google's number one goal is to show their user the best result for a given keyword, which means they don't care how many pieces of content your site puts out, or how often you publish. For example, my site, Backlinko.com has only 34 total posts, and I rank for super competitive keywords like keyword research and SEO techniques. So if publishing lots of unique content doesn't work, what does? Publishing less often but making each piece of content that you do publish absolutely crazy amazing. Here's how to create crazy amazing content. First make your content insanely actionable. And this highly practical post has generated thousands of social shares and hundreds of backlinks. This page also ranks in the top three of Google for the keyword SEO techniques. Next you'll want to make sure that your content is at least 1,890 words long. Yes, this might go against conventional wisdom. After all, you may have heard that people won't read anything online that's more than 500 words. But I have data to prove that this simply isn't true. In fact, last year I teamed up with a bunch of CO software companies to conduct the largest ranking factor study ever. In total we analyzed 1 million Google search results, and we discovered that longer content significantly outperformed short blog posts. In fact, we found that the average first page result in Google boasted about 2,000 words. Do you remember that CO techniques post that I mentioned earlier? In addition to being highly practical, the post is also super long. In fact, that post of over 3,700 words. Next you'll want to make infographics part of your content marketing. Now I am sharing my experience about I found the same thing from my own experiments. For example, this post on on page SEO contains a big old infographic, and that's one of the reasons that this piece of content gets shared and linked to like crazy. Speaking of on page SEO, now that you've published an awesome piece of long form content, it's time to optimize it around your target keyword. Here's how. First, make sure that you publish your page on a short URL. Our ranking factor study found that short URLs tended to outrank long URLs. For example, my target keyword for this page is SEO tools, so I made my URL simply SEO tools. Note that my URL also contains my target keyword. This is also important for on-page SEO. 
Next include your target. Keyword once in the first 100 words of your article. Why? Google puts more weight on keywords that appear at the top of your page. So to help Google understand what your page is all about, make sure to include your keyword once in the first 100 words of your page. For example, in my SEO tools post, you can see that I used my target keyword right off the bat. Our last on-page SEO tip is to add outbound links to your page. Google wants to see that your content is a comprehensive resource on that topic, and that's only possible if you link out to other helpful pieces of content. In fact, a recent industry study found that pages that link out consistently outranked pages that don't link out to other websites. Okay, so you just published your in-depth keyword optimized piece of content, so you're all set, right? Wrong. Publishing now. Time to chill. Oh crap, I forgot about link building. In many ways after you publish a piece of content, your job has just begun. That's because it's time for the most important part of SEO, content promotion and link building. There are a thousand ways to build links to your website, so I'm gonna share one of my absolute favorites with you right now. Broken link building. Here's the three-step process. Step 1. Find a page you want to get a link from. Step 2. Find the broken links on that page. Step 3. Let the site owner know about their broken link. Let's break it down. Your first step is to find a page that you want to get a link from. This page should be from a site in your niche that has quite a few outbound links. To find pages with lots of external links, use search strings like keyword plus helpful resources and keyword a neural links. This will bring up pages with lots of external links. Next it's time to find broken links on that page. You can find links that aren't working by installing the free check. My links extension for Chrome. Then when you find a page with lots of external links, run check my links. It will reveal all the links on that page that aren't working. Finally, it's time to let the site owner know about their broken link and offer your content as a replacement here's the exact script to send hi name i was looking for some information on topic today when i came across your list of resources great stuff i couldn't help but notice that there was a broken link on the page i just thought you'd like to know also i have recently published a guide on that topic it might make a nice addition to your page. Either way, keep up the awesome work, and you're set. Last up I have a bonus tip for you, which is to optimize your site around user experience signals. In 2015 Google announced that they now use a machine learning algorithm called RankBrain. Specifically, it found that pages with a high center tended to outrank pages with a below average click-through rate. In other words RankBrain probably measures center and uses this data as a key ranking factor. Obviously, the lower your bounce rate the better. If you want to learn how to improve your click through rate, check out this video. And if you want to see how to prevent people from bouncing from your site, this video is for you. Okay, that's it for my advanced SEO tutorial. If you like this video, Make sure to subscribe to my channel right now. Just click on the subscribe button. Also if you want exclusive SEO techniques that I only share with subscribers. Now it's time to hear from you. Which of the strategies from this video are you going to use first? Are you going to improve your site speed? Or try broken link building? Let me know by leaving a comment below right now. So, so, you know what I'm saying? So bad it's good, alright? Wondervar. I could forget, it goes like swooping. Ugh, I'm like eating it. Vacuum time, construction time. That's ridiculous, again. Looks insane.